Praise the Lord! Today we are excited to share with you the remarkable story of the Eucharistic miracle that unfolded in the small town of Madhavana. This extraordinary series of events occurred on four consecutive Sundays, July 21st, July the 28th, August 4th and August 11th. A young girl named Agna has been at the centre of these faith deepening events. The very first time the host transformed into flesh was in her hand and the other three times were on her tongue. She stated that this incident strengthened her faith immensely. This young boy, who was a witness to this miraculous event, claimed that he even saw the veins in the flesh. When the priest asked Agna to place the transformed host on the patent, the young boy stated that now his faith could never be taken away from him. A witness who was seated at the front during the miracle shared that she saw the flesh pulsing before her eyes. The sight deeply moved her, prompting her to immediately start praying. She later reflected on the moment, saying it profoundly deepened her faith and left a lasting impact on her spiritual life. Now, let me tell you about this miraculous Eucharistic event. In St. Sebastian's Church, located in Kerala, India, a young girl named Agna has experienced multiple Eucharistic miracles in which the host has transformed into flesh and blood. This is what Agna has explained. She mentioned that although her friends initially doubted her, witnessing the miracle firsthand deepened their faith. Afterwards, when the bishop arrived to examine the phenomenon, he also decided to send a sample to Rome for further testing. These Eucharistic miracles underscore the profound power of God. After the videos went viral on social media, it inspired many people to deepen their spiritual connection with God. Now, let us thank God not only for this Eucharistic miracle, but also for the gift of the Holy Eucharist for all to receive. Let us pray. O oh Lord Jesus, I give you praise and thanksgiving for allowing me to receive your body, blood, soul and divinity in this Holy Eucharist today. I pray that this Holy Eucharist is not a condemnation of my soul, but will give me the grace and strength to live a life of heroic virtue. Amen.